Hi, I'm Charlotte and I'm going to give you a quick introduction to the Red Mason Bee. So a bit about their identification and what they get up to. Unlike most bees, Red Mason Bee females nest up high in aerial cavities. So if you have a garden bee hotel, you'll very likely have these bees nesting in it. And the key sign to look out for is for any tubes that have been plugged with mud because Red Mason Bee females use mud as their nesting material. So both females and males have orangey red abdomens that contrast with the light brown hairs on their thorax. The males have much longer antennae and are also smaller than the females. The males also have this conspicuous tuft of hair on their heads that from above resembles a shoe brush. The behaviour of the males can also give them away because they spend most of their days searching for a female to mate with. So you may see them swarming outside bee hotels or patrolling around a certain area of flowers in search of a mate. So once a female has mated and found a place to nest, she will then set to work on constructing her nest burrow. So her nest burrow consists of a series of egg cells, each provisioned with pollen and lined by a wall of mud. Unlike most bees, red mason bee females actually collect pollen on their underside using special hairs. So not like most bees who collect pollen on their hind legs. As I mentioned before, red mason bee females collect damp mud. So you may find the females collect the mud around damper areas in your garden, such as around your ponds. Once she's back at the nest, she will then use her special facial horns to manipulate this wet mud into place. And it is actually these facial horns that give rise to their Latin name, Osmia bicornis, with bicornis meaning two horns. So the red mason bee is a bee that you'll very likely find in your gardens, especially if you've got a bee hotel, but it's definitely worth looking out on your flowers and also in damper areas where you may find the females collecting damp mud. Remember that this is a target bee species for the Northeast Bee Hunt, so please do submit your sightings.